Breaking news, my country people. President Tinubu's first weeks in office made history in turning bad situations into worse. This is coming from the Northern Elders Forum. Hmm. My country people, this is really interesting. I mean, the fact that uh, Tinubu promised Nigerians that he would continue for web worry stop. What were we expecting? <laughs> people were expecting it to be positive, right? People were expecting a positive change. No. We all knew the mess that the former president, Mohamed Buhari, left us in this country. We were still in that mess when Tinibu came into power and continued from where he stopped. So we don't need any prophets to tell us that uh, things would get worse instead of getting better. That things will get worse. Now, my country people, the Northern Elders Forum have made it known that uh, Ashwedju Bola had met Tinibu's first few weeks of being the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria will be recorded by our history as leadership that made bad situations into worse. The Northern Elders Forum asserted that the administration's attempt to correct mistakes have been very unsuccessful, noting that things have been made worse by the barrage of plans and the policies being hinted at, which will make life even more intolerable for the Nigerian. Dr. Hakim Baba Ahmed, the Northern Elders Forum Director, Publicity and Advocacy, made this known in a statement signed on Monday stressing that efforts being made to correct mistakes appeared too hasty, hastily decided and failed to meet and failed to relieve the desperate challenges of daily living of Nigerians. The statement reads in part, The Northern Elders Forum has exercised an informed restraint to comment on the state of affairs of the North and Nigeria for the reason elders should be associated with. First, the electoral process is technically still active with challenges before the judiciary being considered. Now, what responsible Nigerians owe our democratic process is to encourage a healthy respect for those who, going by our constitution, have powers to lead us as we speak. The judicial process also deserves encouragement to live up to its mission and efforts to tint its image for partisan or other interests must be condemned. Second, the forum recognizes the challenging circumstances under which Tinibu's administration assumed responsibility to steer the country away from further damage. <laughs> But what we owe our leaders at this moment are prayers, encouragement, and counsel, not hasty conclusions and condemnations. Finally, the forum, the forum has remained sensitive to the value of constructive use of time and circumstances, particularly in the face of unprecedented hardship under which Nigerians live today. It has become necessary not less to speak on a number of important issues so that the leadership and the citizens will find some common grounds as they com contemplate the next few days, the next few steps, I beg your pardon. Now that President Tinibu is putting together a cabinet, the forum hopes that Nigeria will see improvements in the manner, decisions and plans of, his, of this administration are being handled. But then, most Nigerians do not need convincing that the country has been reduced to a very sorry state by the last administration. And sacrifices and informed policies and decisions who would will need to be made to make a transition to a more productive economy, more secure communities, and more united country. And we believe that the administration has erred into embarking on major decisions before it even took its first flattering steps. 
Now, attempts to correct mistakes have been very unsuccessful because these things have even made things worse, which will make life even more intolerable for the Nigerian. Where efforts are being made to correct mistakes, they appear too hastily decided and will in the long term do little to, to relieve the desperate challenges of the daily living of Nigerians. Okay, my country people, the forum now, that's the Northern Elders Forum, have given their own thoughts concerning this issue on how President Bollard met Tinibu's administration have really, really, you know, uh, not favored Nigerians. Instead of turning things for the better, situation are becoming worse. As each day passes by, things are becoming worse. So my country people, Nigerians don't just say, this Shege must reach everybody. Say we never enter Banzao. Say na Shege Pro Max, they come. He is fulfilling his pledge because he said he would turn the situation into a rotten one. But then, he said he would continue from where Buhari stopped. That was what he promised. So far, so good. Tinibu has done so. Well, I don't blame Tinibu. I blame those that voted for him. When I never see anything, oh, this one, a general market. You guys shall definitely pick two. And then hold on. And then general market. Then it will teach everybody lesson. This is an open lesson, oh. You guys will see more. Tinibu is saying... He never even starts safe. She will not all say Tinibu government go favor on her. Okay. He has turned the rotten situation into a bad one, as he promised. Oh yeah now, this one is just the start. Una go see Pepe. Guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. <laughs> My country people. A lot is really going on now. A lot is going on. So Tinibu now has, you know, really his policies. And his decisions have really inflicted more hardship and more sufferings on majority of Nigerians, mostly the poor masses. Currently, we have we are being faced with high inflation rates because the prices of goods and services are on a high side, coupled with the hike in the pump fuel price. So, guys, what are your thoughts on this? I'm dropping it. Kindly share your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you. Bye.